Hey everybody, this is a quick video in case you have a Roku Indoor Camera 360 SE and you need to do a hard reset to the factory default settings on it. Now you're going to want to do this for one of two reasons. The first one is troubleshooting. If you're having any issues with this camera, you know, not connecting to Wi-Fi, or if it's not syncing or pairing with your devices, or if it's otherwise not working, um, a hard reset can fix a lot of these issues. Uh, now, you're going to need to set it up again, and that's the second reason you might want to do this. Um, if for whatever reason, maybe you're setting this up in a new home, or you just want to get a fresh start like it's coming out of the box, you can go ahead and do that really easily. Before we get started, we want to make sure that we have removed any SD cards that we have in there. And we're going to go ahead and make sure it's plugged in and powered on. And from there, we're just going to turn it upside down and look at the bottom, and you will find a small reset button. And we're also going to keep an eye on this indicator light right here. And so what we'll do is we'll, the, uh, the little setup button on the bottom of the camera, we're going to press and hold that button for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you can release it and then wait at least 30 seconds for the camera because it's going to do its whole reset and it's going to restart and everything like that. So just give it 30 seconds and keep an eye on this. And once everything it's, has been successfully reset, um, you'll see this start to flash in red. And which means you can go ahead, it's all been reset, you can go ahead and set it up as a new camera. 